Hey everyone, today we're going to tell you about what is DDR5 RAM. How fast is it? What do I need to run it? These are some of the common questions that are available and you will be surprised to know that it is not at all complicated and we are here to help you get the right answer. So, let's not waste time and get started. What is DDR5? It is the next evolution in PC memory. The newer version is mainly focused on having an increased density and bandwidth of the RAM, but at the same time, lowering the power consumption of the memory kits. How much DDR5 RAM will my PC support? When you are looking at DDR4, the largest consumer modules that you can buy will max out at 32 GB. However, DDR5 can quadruple that technology. This means that a typical mainstream PC with four DDR4 DIMM slots will max out at 128 GB. But if you are building a cutting-edge system with all the tech possible in the world, you can even go with 512 GB with just four slots, and yes, this is DDR5. However, if you want to stop pulling all the punches and build a PC that has eight RAM slots in the motherboard, then you can expect to go as high as 1 TB, and yes, that is as ridiculous as it sounds. Why would I need 1 TB or even 512 GB of RAM? Okay, this is something that most people don't know, but when you are talking about needing that much RAM, it does not matter. Especially if you are an average consumer who is just looking to have some good time, playing their favorite games and running their basic tasks. For gaming and even video editing rendering, you are more than okay with having anywhere from 16 to 32 GB of RAM. However, not everyone is going to use their PC the same way, and therefore, you might not need to have 1 TB or 512 GB RAM in your computer, you might run into a person who does well. For purposes such as scientific calculation, computational tasks, and more. How much of a bandwidth boost should I expect? According to the RAM manufacturer Micron, there is a 36% increase in the bandwidth when you compare DDR5 and DDR5 at the same data transfer rate. The company even tested a DDR5-4800 module and it offered 87% increase in the performance against a similar DDR4-3200 module, which is impressive and to be honest bonkers. What about latency? There is no denying that DDR5 RAM kits will be bringing a lot of improvements. However, the same cannot be said about the overall latency. Apparently, according to Corsair, the single access latency is not changing at all, whereas column access cast latency is slightly worse. Corsair further commented how the overall latency of a flagship RAM kit will be the same as a DDR4 module, which honestly is not a bad thing. Is there a price increase? Price is one of the things that a lot of people are actually concerned about whenever they are in the market. Well, as with any new technology, you are expected to pay more, and the same is the case with RAM kits, as well. For starters, Samsung has stated that consumers should expect DDR5 to cost at least 30% more at introduction, however, this is just for the chips. If you are to go on various online retailers, you can compare the prices and in most of the cases, you are looking at a higher price for DDR5 than you would pay for the DDR4. However, it is also important to know that as DDR5 is going to go mainstream, you can expect the price to get lower and lower. Is DDR5 RAM going to run hotter? This is another question that has been roaming around the internet. You are looking at newer technology that is going to offer higher capacity and higher bandwidth as well. This means that the RAM kits should theoretically run hotter. However, the added heat is not just going to be because of the chips running hotter. For starters, with DDR5, voltage regulation for the RAM will be happening on the module. This was different in DDR4 where the voltage for the RAM was located on the motherboard. This means that while it would make motherboards be lesser complex and will allow RAM makers more control over the memory kits and the ability to optimize the power delivery. This will come at a cost, however, because due to the voltage regulation being on the memory itself, there will be more heat generated. However, there is not much to worry about as most of the RAM makers like Corsair, G-Skill, and more will incorporate their own designs in order to ensure that the RAMs run cool and at their optimal performance as well. At the end, there are a lot of factors involved in me saying that you should not be upgrading to DDR5 RAM just now. 
Aside from the fact that it is a newer technology and the prices are comparatively higher than what they would be after a few months. Another glaring issue is that the world is going through a chip shortage and we must keep in mind about how that could hike up the prices as well. Additionally, unless DDR5 proves to be really powerful in games and the 12th generation Intel processors and 6th generation AMD processors can actually benefit from faster speeds, there is not a lot of reasons for one to simply change the entire platform for the sake of changing RAMs. It does look promising and I cannot wait for the new memory to become standard and fully mature, but for early adoption, I'd advise the users to stay away. Thanks for making it to the end. If you find this video helpful please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. And, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. See you in the next video.